guys, it's Stemboy, and today I'm going to be teaching you part 2 of the Toucan game using a webcam in Scratch. So let's see what we have so far. So we have apples and bombs, but they don't really do anything. So let's make a function for these uh, items. So we're going to go into the script that you made last time. Okay, so now we have the bomb. So let's do the bomb first. So we're going to do if so if it's touching the toucan, we can um, we can make a game over sprite. And I'll show game over. So wait. So I'm gonna make a game over sprite. You can make it however you want. I'm gonna make it like this. So we're gonna go a bit down which is side and we're gonna make it so adjust this X position to zero that's Y position to zero okay so that's our I'm gonna put I'm gonna put in yellow Marker font game over. And let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, now let's align it. Okay, now we've aligned it. So Let's make the script for our game over really quickly. So we're gonna do when the game so when the flag is clicked, so when it starts, we're gonna have we're gonna have it hide and then let's make um a new Message. So let's make so two. I'm gonna make it new message game over. So whenever the bomb touches the two can, it's gonna broadcast game over. And so here, when I receive two, I mean the game over. We're gonna have it. and stop everything so you can't get any new points you can't lose again so let's try it out okay wait let's uh let me set the transparency to 70 so you can see me so the bomb touches and we lost. So it's kind of fast. Let me make it slower. Make the fruit and bomb slower. So instead of minus 10, I'm going to make it minus 3. So it's slow. So it doesn't go too fast. Now let's try it. Now that's a reasonable speed. Um, the apples still aren't doing anything. Uh, so we're going to do if the apples touch the 
Oh, uh, we should also do broadcast game over. So we don't want it. So we, it's going to delete itself before it creates uh, any more trouble. So I think it's fine. But as a backup, so here we're going to do if it's touching the if it, the apple is touching the toucan, if the clone is touching the toucan, you're going to have it. So we're gonna to have to implement points. So, um, so my variable can be renamed to score and check it. So you can see the score. So we're gonna do uh, it's not a two can. Okay, so we're going to set the score to uh, zero whenever the game starts. And go to the apple again. So whenever it touches the toucan, change score by one. Start the sound chomp. And then we're going to have it to delete itself. Uh, so the reason why we have to delete itself, so let's uh, touch that apple. So we touched one apple but got four points because it didn't delete itself. So uh, that's why. Okay, so now we have our apple and it's working fine. So. Um, I'm going to add the other fruits, so I'm going to duplicate it, and so the apple, so the apple 2 is I'm going to make it to the banana, banana, and choose the banana sprite costume. right there so bananas it's still loading okay so uh, we can do that you can create as many fruit as you want I'm gonna make four so banana watermelon Watermelon A. Delete this. Um, and duplicate this one more time. And this is the last fruit. It's going to be orange.
sort of have orange. I believe it's the original orange here, this one. And delete the watermelon spray. Alright, watermelon costume. And we're gonna choose a background. I said the plain background. So I'm gonna choose blue sky. And you can also make a thumbnail if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not gonna make it for this project. But if you're going to, you're gonna want. Uh, so you're gonna want the thumbnail to show. And then you're gonna want to add in a script that says uh, when the flag is clicked, hide. Then you're gonna want to save your project. And don't click the flag yet, save your project. And then uh, your thumbnail will be that. And maybe I'll add a thumbnail as well so I show you. So here we go. Let's make it go zero. Zero. Uh, a bit more on this side. Okay, we're gonna add two can game. Two can what? Game. So we're gonna have it here. We make a bit bigger. Here we're gonna add in the two can. I'm gonna use the sitting one, the one that we didn't use before. the one it's loading so we're gonna copy it delete it and paste it so there we go, here's a thumbnail, and we're going to have it to, when the flag is clicked, we're going to want it to, to hide, and, um, and this is if you have an older account but you can add a high score so let's make a high score script when click forever greater than so let's make a variable high score if score greater than high score set high score 
to score and uh, we're gonna have to wait. Uh, I messed up the high score one. Okay, I'm gonna want to delete. So it's a cloud variable. Oh, cloud variable high. Greater than high score set high score to score. Okay, so now we have a high score script, and we go side in music. Sounds from the costume library. I'm going to use a Bosa Nova. And forever, it's going to play sound Bosa Nova until finish. And if you want, uh, you're going to want to. So let's test it out. to 70 if you have too much fruit you can always change the spawn rate by going to the fruit okay so you always go and increase the wait time and um, I'm going to go to the thumbnail. Got to make it to make it to make it show and then um, to can game, you can name it whatever you want, and I'm going to share it, a uh, two can game tutorial, and there we go, you have your two can game, you can add instructions if you want to, uh, so that's it, uh, if you like this video, please like, if you if you liked it, also subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new. Goodbye.